Hi everyone, it's Pastor Hussman here to lead you through our daily devotions for this week. Have you been holding up okay? It's been crazy to think that it's been over a month, month and a half even, where we've been in this situation uh, due to COVID-19. It, it brought to mind, for me at least, uh, we really need to learn how to endure, how to persevere, and to get through all the hard things we're going through and we'll keep going through uh, day by day. In fact, I was reminded of uh, this idea of needing to endure as I've heard on the radio more than once, uh, and you've probably heard too, our, our governor saying, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And so with all that in mind, I, I thought it'd be good for this week to think about what it means to endure. Now, by definition, enduring is uh, enduring means that something is hard. You don't endure something easy. You don't endure something that's pleasant that you like. And so the sheer fact that so often in the Bible, God is calling on us, telling us you need to endure. It tells us, first of all, that this life is hard. It's not easy. It's not a walk through the park. But it also tells us that God is going to give us what we need to endure, uh, to overcome in him. And so for our devotions this week, we're going to look at at least five passages, five truths. Uh, and there's plenty more, but we'll, we'll focus on five ways that God not only calls on us to endure, but he gives us the power to do so through his word. So for our devotion today, we're going to look at Revelation chapter 6, verses 9 through 11, where we read, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had main maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? And each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and brothers who were to be killed, as they had been, was completed. So the background to what I just read is that uh, the Apostle John, nearing the end of his life and, and a prisoner on the island of, of Patmos, uh, he has received uh, many visions in, in the book of Revelation. And in this chapter, chapter 6, he sees a lamb opening a scroll that has seven seals. And every time a seal is opened, John gets a vision, a, a picture of of what the end of the world is going to be like, the signs of things that will happen before the end. And so in this seal, uh, the, the fifth seal, John saw the saints in heaven who had been killed, martyred because of their faith while they lived on earth. And what's interesting is what they say. They say to God, how long, O Lord, sovereign Lord, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood. Now, we don't want to read too much into this, but it sure seems to, to give enough evidence to say that, that saints in heaven, they're aware of the passing of time, and they're aware, even if they don't know all the details, they know what it was like when they lived on earth, how terrible the persecution, the suffering, the pain, the death, all those things. And so they can't help but ask God, even while they're in the perfection of heaven, they ask, God, how long until you bring the justice that you've promised? And we might ask now, who are we, even a saint in heaven, who are we to ask God how long? Who are we to question God? That's, that's something that often comes to us when we are suffering and in pain. We, we have questions for God, but we wonder, can we even ask God that question? Well, it's good to read this chapter, to read these verses. It's good to read the prophets and the Psalms in particular, because what you find in the Bible is that a lot of times God's people are asking these tough questions and tough situations, questions like, why did this happen, God? And how long is this sort of thing, this suffering, how long am I going to have to endure, in other words? And what, what I hope you can take away from today is that it's okay to ask how long. This is a form of, of asking God, uh, a form of literature you could say called lament. And 
it might seem like complaining, but someone recently made the, the distinction between complaining and lament. What this person said is that complaining is accusing God in order to malign his character. In other words, you, you probably hear people even now and, and whenever they suffer saying, God, how could you let something like this happen? And, and the purpose of it is to say, God is not really God. But here, and, and so often in the Bible, when you hear the prophets, the psalm, psalm writers, you hear God's people asking, God, why did this happen? How long will this happen? It's not an accusation. It's not a complaint. It's a lament. It's a, an appeal to God based on faith in his character. So when these saints in heaven are asking God, how long is this going to go on? You notice they say, God, you are holy and true. They say, God, we know who you are. You're a God who can't stand sin and suffering and death. So God, how long are you going to let this happen? It's completely based on faith. And while there's a lot of other things that, that we could say about endurance, and we're going to get to them, about how God answers our prayers, it, it's good enough for us today to simply see what, what we see in Revelation 6, that it's okay to ask God how long, to appeal to him, and to say, God, I know you are a faithful, holy God, so help me in my faith to understand what's happening. And that's what God did for John, for those saints he gave them a white robe. He said, wait a little while longer until the number of their servants who are going to be killed as they had been was completed. For us to endure, and to endure together, uh, even though we're not together in person, we need to know that God has everything in his hands and on his timetable, everything will work out as he has promised. So I don't know what you're enduring right now. Um, I don't know what you're going to, going to endure the rest of your life. Eventually, this virus and the pandemic it has caused, it will end. But our lives will go on. Every day, you'll need to endure something hard. Uh, it might get harder than you thought you could bear. So just know it's okay to ask God how long. And then to do, do so trusting in him. To do as he has promised in his son, Jesus Christ, to deliver you completely and fully in the end. We'll keep looking at that as we go through the passages God gives us on endurance the rest of this week. So let's pray right now. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you for giving us the knowledge uh, that you have all things in your hands. You have all things in control and everything will work itself out as you have determined according to your timetable. So when we struggle with our doubts and questions, help us to, to call on you in prayer, to bring our questions to you, but not an accusation or complaint, but in a lament, in an appeal to you to be the God you've promised, the God who loves us, the God who saves us from suffering and death, and the God who gives us hope and eternal life. We thank you, O Lord, for doing all this and for giving your word to us. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again.